cash, yeah. right? Yes. How did he behave after you gave him the cash? Did he maybe go back to <laughs> Bomet? Did he stay for a while? Did you notice any change? Or was he like the best person now that he got whatever he wanted? Uh, actually, uh, he was normal. Um, just uh, he continued acting the same way he's been. Uh, he'd come over almost every weekend. So we continued uh, the relationship like nothing had happened. Uh, did you pay? Yes. Did you, uh, did you supply the polls? Yes, I've been able to supply. But then with that came um, story after story of the money was not enough. I wasn't able to complete that tender. Okay. The money, so with that, it, it became strenuous, but mm -hmm. it was over, over a period of months. Mm -hmm. So uh, you'd go for maybe a month or two months and uh, the story will come up again. Mm -hmm. I really need to finish this tender. Um, whatever other business, because at the same time, he was also doing uh, timber. Mm -hmm. He had a timber yard in Bomet. Mm. So with that, he'd still say like, um, even the timber business is not bringing not in as much well. money and I still need to finish this. Yeah. So um, with that, yes, that's how the, the other amounts um, mm. yeah. got lost to him. But with every amount that I lost to him, the, the one thing that uh, for me I felt mm -hmm. at that time, I felt like I was being safe or being cautious about, was can you kindly go to the lawyer and just make sure it's in the agreement mm -hmm. that you're going to repay me this amount mm -hmm. once you're paid. Mm -hmm. So with that, I thought, ah, it's legal. You're safe. Yeah, yeah. I'm safe. It's mm -hmm. legal. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Uh, was with, this with person even like a lawyer in the first place? Was he? Was yes. he like a lawyer, yes, a real lawyer? Was. Oh, he was. I, I did okay. go to his office yeah. and uh, I, I, I'm pretty convinced he's a lawyer. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I, I'm convinced he's a lawyer, <laughs> but I know he's a lawyer who, who has ties to him. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. So it's, it's like this, this, they have like a side business yes. that they do together. They have you bring a in the clients, we we'll yes. get the money, and then you get your cards. Everybody yes. goes their way. Yes. Okay. So the second time you give him the money. Mm -hmm. So at what point is your relationship? Are you talking marriage? Are you talking about like the future, discussing finances? Ah. At what point was this relationship? Because ah, I remember marriage. from your video you we, talked we about were... looking for houses to move in together. He would show you. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually planning like a destination wedding, so you can imagine we were talking marriage. Yeah. We were talking kids. We were we were actually visiting hospital. Let's let's get checked. Mm -hmm. Let's just know that both of us are okay. Mm -hmm. Like with all those small small details, actually you you think I'm so this relationship. If a guy is willing to go to the hospital with me, let's get checked and plan for having the kids. Future, yes. uh, yeah, for the future and also. Um, we are planning for this wedding. Yeah. Where do I, I want to have my wedding in Egypt. So that's where we are having. Uh. Mm. <laughs> 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 you were going to go to Egypt. We <laughs> were going to Egypt. And the pyramids. I, rem I remember. Right? <laughs> and I you're remember. paying for it. Yes, I remember my niece was staying with me at the time. Yeah. And then uh, she could hear this conversation. Yes. <laughs> so nowadays she makes jokes <laughs> and tells me, Auntie, Ilya Rusetia, Egypt. Egypt. What happened? How did it go? <laughs> so I'm like, Are you still going to Egypt? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe by myself. <laughs> Yeah so, uh, so, yeah, so it was a serious thing. You were talking about was. marriage. Yes. And um, you also talked about the fact that he would actually go house hunting yes. and take videos. and, and <laughs> So many <laughs> times. So many times yeah. he'd go, because um, now the amount we were expecting from the payout, from the tender, mm. was quite a huge amount. Mm. So uh, with that, we knew if uh, we were doing, I think basically you'd come to the house and find us with books and stuff, doing calculations yeah. all the time. So this is what we have to pay for. So we'll have this amount left. Yeah. I was even so like, what kind of car do you like? I'm like, I like a Jeep. I can get a Jeep. So <laughs> like, oh, you, oh, okay, I'll buy you a Jeep. Okay. So I remember <sighs> with, <laughs> with, <laughs> with, it was a lot. It yeah. was a lot. Uh, but I remember he was also going house hunting. Yeah. So most of the time you'd find, uh, I'm in the office, mm -hmm. uh, seated, he'd be like, um, uh, we spoke about this, I go to this particular area, we go look for a house to buy, not, mm -hmm. not rent, yeah. just a house to buy. So he'd go from room to room with a video, uh, just video, videoing <laughs> me and telling me, do you like this house, do you like this environment, yeah. it's a three bedroom, it's a four bedroom, 
I'm like, no, let's look at another one. Yeah. Let's, uh, so he'd do that a lot of times. Okay. Yes. And then <laughs> he'd do he that. also told you that he has a house in ah, Harlingham. Nah, that, that, was, <laughs> that one, I, I actually laugh at myself for actually believing that lie because that was a straight up lie. Mm -hmm. or, or so I think. I mm. don't know for, for fact mm. if it was true or not. But what he told me, he had two homes in Harlingham. Mm -hmm. One, he had lost it uh, through another relationship, mm. his previous relationship. Mm. Uh, but uh, the one that he currently has, uh, this, uh, this particular day we decide, let's go to church. Uh, we are Seventh-day Adventists. Mm. Let's go to church. So we come to church. Uh, after church, we're like, uh, can, I, can, can you go and show me the home? Today we are free. We are mm. not doing anything. So he tells me, yeah, we can go. So we get to Harlingham. We get to this nice big house. He's like, so this is the house. But, uh, you know, we cannot enter mm. because I've rented it out and the person is a foreigner. They're out of the country. Okay. So we can't trespass. But I just wanted to make sure that you know at least it's this This one. is my house. This is my house. So I believed it. You never got to um, the compound? No, you never no, nothing. I actually believed him. Oh, I, wow. I, think about, I think about that particular point um, mm. um, at, at that time. I. I now I question my sanity <laughs> at that time. Yeah. Like, how, how could you how even could believe you? this? Yes. Yeah, how could you believe such a lie? Because yeah. anybody else looking in can tell you that's a lie. Yeah. Or maybe the, the first thing you can even do is call the security guy and yes, then and tell them, uh, this questions. is my house, um, how are things here, mm -hmm. yes. is the tenant okay, or stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't do any of that. Okay. He's yes. like, this is my house, the, the tenant is not in, yes. and he's a foreigner, so yes. you know, uh, mm -hmm. trespassing mm -hmm. is, is a big thing. No, it's, it's, it's a big thing. <laughs> okay, so Bishop, yeah. again, listening to, to, to Rose, yeah. in terms of this person, it's like they tell you what you want to hear. Yeah to yeah. just earn your trust. Yeah. So, and, and for people who are watching us and thinking, who, maybe at a I would have fallen for that, you know? Yeah. Literally taking you to someone else's house, or maybe it's his house, we don't we know. Don't. Yeah. You know, and, and telling you this is my house, and, and this is the things that, that we, we need to do, we can move in together, and all those things. And especially when, when people start talking about marriage, yeah. and children, mm -hmm. and future, it's very easy for you to somewhat trust them, yeah. right? Yeah. So how soon is too soon to start talking about marriage and all those things that we should actually be cautious about? I think uh, when she was talking, I was thinking about uh, foundations. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, we are looking at a house that is being built mm -hmm. with no foundation. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about tiles, we are talking mm -hmm. about the colors, the mm -hmm. paintings of the house, but there's no foundation. And mm -hmm. that's what most people do. Um, and that's why we make big mistakes because mm -hmm. you want to build this magnificent, you know, beautiful house and then foundation th is zero. Yeah. So I think even the time, mm -hmm. the four months of knowing somebody, and then also this thing, guys, of just meeting people on Facebook, mm -hmm. that's, that's also a It's a red flag in its It's own. a red flag on itself. But there are some people who have established solid mm -hmm. relationships. Th that's okay. Same. That's yeah. okay. But, but I think you need to dig deeper okay. <clears throat> on Facebook or social media. Mm. You need to dig deeper. Because if you met somebody probably at work, or you've been working with them, or maybe in a church setup mm. or in another place, first of all, there's a kind of um, people who know them. Mm. You know? <clears throat> Excuse me. People who know them. So what happens is, if you just meet people on social media, they, they, they already hide so many things. About themselves. Yeah, That's about true. themselves. That's true. And they want to tell you what you want to know. So, mm. wana kupangwa. Mm. Wana kupanga, eh? Mm. eh? Na mm. ni tulisikia wa mtu anasema wa atu kipangu ingu. So the thing is, so the thing is yeah. most of all these people, they look at you, they search you on Facebook, mm. they really know what, you know, what kind of a person you are, yeah. they already know you are single and all that kind of thing. So mm. what, by the time they are meeting you, ni kukupanga, mm. and then they, what they do is they look at um, maybe what you might be needing. Mm. And maybe you are looking for love, you are single, and maybe you are waiting for this priest charming to, to come in and sweep just sweep off you your off feet. your feet. Yes. So, so th th that's, that, those are kind of the problems we have. And mm. that time you meet somebody, I think there's need to be a lot of due diligence. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And of yeah. course in this day and age where, again, there's internet and stuff. But mm. again, like we said, 
<laughs> Whatever people put out there as far as, mm -hmm. you know, social media or even just on Google or anywhere else, mm -hmm. you might not trust yeah. 100%. That's true.